All right, one week update on the renovation. Well, it's been a week and a half, so we check out looks. Gonna put some fertilizer today, some wetting agent, keep ticking along, and probably get a mow on it too, because it's grown that much. Very exciting, so let's get straight into it. Mate, super happy with the amount of growth already on this area. Look at this. Some of this stuff has gone absolutely nuts. It'll be up around, probably close to, it'll be more than 30 mil, like 40 mil in some spots. So it's been nine days since we did the renovation. Had really good weather, nice and warm. The sand has retained a lot of heat in there too. Really impressed with the results. Now we're at the point where it's a little bit patchy, as you can see, a little bit patchy. Still some holes in some spots. We should really probably get a little bit more sand out to be honest, but I'm not too stressed if they close over. Doesn't really matter. As I said, I'm not worried too much about drainage here. I mean, and that's still gonna help with compaction and everything. But today you can see some parts are at that 40 mil, so we need to nip the top off before it gets too long. And when we go do our first mow, it's gonna ski up. Cause I wanna keep this down around 10, 15 mil throughout the season. So we're gonna get a rotary mow in here today. Too much sand about for a real mower or a cylinder mower. So we're gonna nip the top off it. It's gonna help promote growth sideways and just make sure our first, like we don't leave it to a point where it starts scalping. So don't be stressed. You can mow at this point, just don't get your cylinder mower out. Get a rotary mower out and get it done. But you need, probably even need to do the edges. Look at this. She's growing. What the? Look at that. The man is in his natural habitat. Edging. Do you see him? Huh? Smile at the camera. See if you can get a first pull. <laughs> first pull, eh? Oh. That's all you need, one pull. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> do you reckon you can do it first time, though? Oh, if I do everything properly. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Give it a good prime. I'm gonna choke it. <laughs> oh! No, 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 that didn't. Ah! That didn't turn the joke on. off, wasn't it? Alright, next time, next time. It's gonna cut off a bit. Ready? No, 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 no. Yeah, I believe. No, why is it doing that? Leave the choke on a bit longer, mate. It turned off last time I had it on choke. See? You're an idiot. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse you. Don't be rude. We're gonna set this on the lowest set. Oh, maybe try it. What do you reckon? What's your assessment? I don't know. Okay, it's <laughs> a good one. We could, <laughs> we, could tr we could start it and then go up to two, but it just feels like it's low. It looks. Nah, I'll give it a go. Okay, just risk it for the biscuit, mate. It, I'll give it a go then. That's how we work. <laughs> we just don't even give care. Give it a crack. Do you know how to start it? You hold this in, press this button, and I'm wrong. Excellent. Just don't run the wheel over the edge, yeah. You'll be sweet. Cutting a little bit. You can tell it's new, fresh Renault growth, though, when you see stripes from a rotary mower. Don't know where you guys can see it on your screens. No, you can. Look at that, light patch. Light stripe, dark stripe. Just because it's so lush. That's what I love about Renault growth, because the crowns are so low, it's got so much leaf to shoot up and grow. Just why Renault's or higher cut resets with a scalp, really, really low on lawns is awesome, because you get that nice, lush, green growth that stripes easily, looks nice and fresh. It's just good to do a couple of times a year, you know? Just, oh, I love it. I mean, this will be filled in, I'd say, in probably another week and a half. We should be close to being getting close to cylinder mowing, especially after doing a furt today and getting some wet nitrogen out. A little bit of extra nitrogen, but mostly doing a furt today for the roots with my lawn tips mix and the microbes in there also, which are going to help just keep the nutrients in them, help all the, like even the granular fertilizer last a little bit longer.
So as Taylor's finishing up, I just wanted to mention the reason why we want to get on to mowing so early. I mentioned it quickly just before, but I just want to reiterate some of the things I said. So the main reason is so that it starts growing more laterally than vertically. So you're training it to be growing a lot lower and more sideways. And the more you mow, when you're trying to get it repair, the more it's gonna move sideways and fix the bare areas. Obviously, if, if you're also keeping up the water and a little bit of fertilizer, it will be quicker. But regular mowing is a huge thing that you need to make sure you're on top of when your lawn is coming back from renovation and you want it to repair really well and very quick. And as I said, we don't want to scalp it because that's going to stress it out and set it back a little bit. That's what I mentioned earlier. So the regular mowing is ideal. So the earlier you can get on the mower in your area, the better, 100%. And this mower is great because it's at a really, really good height on the lower setting that it's not really going to scout, but it's just nipping the top off. And we'll keep using this basically until the sand is gone. Well, it's came out pretty good after a cut. Sensational. Still, as I said, so much just, I love that Renault, like new growth look after renovation where it's just nice and lush and there's just so much leaf. So, so much leaf. So I really want this to fill in quicker because the quicker we can get the cylinder mower on it, the easier it's going to stripe and the better it's going to look. So as I said, I want to aim for 15 mil this year and we'll keep it about that 15 mil under plant growth regulator too, which we'll get out once the area is filled in. I don't put plant growth regulator down on Renault lawns until we've basically got no bare spots left. If you had spots like say this big, you're probably going to be okay to put regulator down. When you're looking at big areas like this, where it's still a little bit bare, I just hold off until we've got a bit more coverage and it's starting to move sideways. But with the temps warming up, it probably should only take another week, to, I'd say two weeks, for it to really be filled in. It's only been a week and a bit though. So we're now gonna start the monthly application of my lawn tips mix. Now that we've got a bit of growth back in the car queue. Use it over winter, but it started to drop off towards the tail end when it started going a little bit dormant. Um, we still had ryegrass there, but we did back off towards the end. Now, this is a monthly application I like to do. This is my lawn tips mix with enhanced mix. So I've got a new bundle called the enhanced lawn tips mix. You get it? <laughs> so we put all these products out today. Great for soil health, great for leaf health. Leaf health. Taylor's laugh behind the camera, cringing. Um, and just, yeah, not too much nitrogen. We, we, there is a little bit in the enhanced, but we still only go half rate, which makes it about 6% nitrogen. But iron in here is the great thing because it gives it a nice kick of color. There is iron in our Brilliance, which is non-staining, but it's a lower percentage too. You don't get that super big kick, but it won't stain. If you don't want something that's gonna stain your concrete, look at using Brilliance instead of enhanced, but we're mixing it all together. I've done this for the last two and a half years on the green and on the kike too. And if you see the root system in the green, it's because of this mix here, because it stimulates quite a lot of root growth. We've got the microbes in there. Vitalizer is great for repair. Nourish, obviously, a great amount of nutrients in there. Same with Brilliance with the iron and the Enhance with the nitrogen and the iron. So a great mix to use all around. If you didn't want to use all these products at the same time, you can apply them separately. You can choose one. If you're going to choose one, I'd probably go the Brilliance for a great all-rounder, but we'll mix them all together today. Put some wetting agent out too. Now TriQ is great because we can put liquids with it and it's going to mix well. AquaTurf, I'd be a little bit wary of it because you need to water it in pretty quickly. Um, so I tend to like applying that by itself or at least water it in straight away. But we want to leave these on the leaf for an extended period of time because they are a foliar feed and then we'll water it in about 24 hours later. So put these all out, 200 mil per 100 square meters of each of these products and we'll put the TriQ out at 100 mil per 100 square meters. Ah, you dog! <laughs> now, another reason why I'm putting the wetting agent in there is to, one, obviously help retain a little bit of moisture in here. Also stop it being hydrophobic. It won't be though, because of air rated. But another reason is because it really will actually help the liquids, like, stick to the leaf a little bit better and be taken up. And we should get slightly better results when we put the tri cure out with our liquid fertilizer too. Not a crazy amount of difference, but will have an impact. Turn me on. Hey. So one thing with the sprayer, it does get an air lock every now and then. So you have to take the wand off.
Oh, that is done and dusted. That's how we're gonna get this back to health. Bit of liquid fertilizer. I'm probably gonna go once every, probably every two weeks just for now, because we're doing half rate, just to really kick this thing into gear. So two weeks time, put some more liquids out, give this a water in 24 hours, and just keep up with the regular mowing, probably at least twice a week, just so we're helping it grow vertically too. But hey, thanks guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it, Taylor's walking off. Say see you, mate, come on. Lunch time. See ya. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I just do. All right, see you. All right, end of the video. I thought I'd just quickly come over here and give you guys an update, because a few have been asking, where we sprayed, it's pretty much all died out. Does need a follow-up spray, see? Bit of weed coming back through. So this is why we need to do follow-up spray. So that's something Taylor and I'll probably get onto today, or on Monday. Depends on how much we get done today. But look at the Tiff Tough man. She's out of dormancy. Needs a cut. So next week we'll do an update on this, getting things prepped for sprigging really, very, very soon. But it's good to see color back in this. Pretty much nearly completely a dormancy. Little bit of brown in there, but so many shoots. If we give that a cut, it's gonna look like really nice. Probably stripe up really nicely too, brother. Look at him. Ooh, I reckon we might accidentally scalp first mow, which is not great, because it's already grown so much, but hey. It is what it is. We need to do a blanket spray, some bow and arrow on this area too, because there is weeds galore. Our spot spray, we should have done a blanket spray last time I put bow and arrow out. There's weeds everywhere. You know what? We might even go with some lawn row, because we have got some ryegrass in here. So I might just lawn row the whole area. Anyway, thanks guys so much for watching. Bye.